Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles tutorial. Today instead of continuing with our Dungeons and Dragons series I thought we would take a break for a few weeks and do some Halloween inspired tutorials. So for our tutorial today I have some white yarn. I believe this is Red Heart Super Saver or something close to it. I did get it in a mill ends unlabeled order so I'm pretty sure that's what it is based off of the texture but you can use any white yarn of your choice. I am also using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook today. The only stitches you need to know for this spiderweb shawl are double crochet and slip stitch so let's get started. I'm going to start with a slip knot as always. Insert your hook and then chain three. This is your first double crochet. I'm going to then add more double crochets into that original first loop. So right where I did the slip knot. So now I have two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want my shawl to sit over my shoulders, so it's going to be kind of um, more than a half circle shape. If you want yours to be more of just a half circle, you could do just seven or eight double crochet stitches. The way we increase for the spider web is every row is going to have the same number of double crochets in it, but we're going to increase the number of slip stitches in between those double crochets. So I'm going to chain four this time, so a double crochet plus a chain one, then double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm going to chain one, and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, double crochet. And continue that chain one, double crochet all the way around. And your last one should be in the third chain of the chain three from the previous row. So now you can see that we're starting to get gaps between our double crochets, just like a spider web. For this round, you're going to have two chain stitches in between each double crochet. So start with chain five, and that's your chain three for a double crochet plus two. Then double crochet into the previous double crochet stitch, so not a chain stitch, into the same spot as your double crochet was before, and chain two. Then double crochet in the previous double crochet, and chain two. Keep repeating that pattern all the way around. and ending in that third chain of the chain three. For the next row, we're going to have three chain stitches in between each double crochet. So start by chaining six, then we're going to double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, and continue that all the way around.
then you're just going to continue this design to your desired size. So for every row you do, you're still doing the same number of double crochets, but increasing the number of chain stitches in between. So my next row, I would do four chains between each double crochet, then five, six, seven, and so on until you reach your desired size. All right, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to stop here because today I'm just making a mini one to fit inside of a basket, but you could keep continuing this shawl pattern until it gets big enough to wear. Um, my final row here was eight chain stitches between, and it got to be probably about seven inches across by then, and this only took me about 20 minutes to do all of this so far, so it's a pretty fast pattern. You could probably get a shawl completely done in like three hours, which um, is really pretty fast. But I hope you enjoyed this Halloween tutorial, and I hope that you stay around to watch the next one. We have some more spooky tutorials coming. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!